Well, I've got a nice people, my inquisitive crew. Let's talk about Love and Marriage Detroit. It was the final episode of the season. And you started off with Christina uh, having an event with Harper Ray. And it was good to see Colby come along and support. Considering, you know, what happened, I thought it was good. And considering it was the said uh, brand that was in question that she wanted to jump in on Harper Ray, I thought it was good that she still came along and showed support. So that was a good thing. Of course, Toya came along as well. But I always feel like Latoya uh, has got something with Christina because why is she talking about, um, yeah, she's treading lightly with her because she still doesn't know where she stands with her, but yet they've, they've cleared the ear. So I just don't understand it. And then, you know, you had a moment where Christina thanked them all for coming along and just showed her appreciation. And then, you know, specifically called out Colby and said, you know, thanks considering, you know, the history, which I thought was nice. So why is Latoya? piping in to come and say oh well so what about a collaboration then it's just like let the girls breathe woman like geez like come on just hush right now let them just breathe and get on a level where they can be cool again and then they can discuss that so I don't know why she's chipping in with that straight away Christina did not too impress with it but I thought that she handled herself well anyway in that particular moment and then we also see Colby talking to her husband Russell saying that she wants to couples counselling and that's because of the communication issues that they have so I think that's a good idea particularly because you know of his choice to go to divinity school which is fine that's what he wants to do but I think he should discuss that with his wife first particularly knowing that she really has a dad that's a pastor so that must be quite a lot for her perspective and then also you know him opening up the gym and just kind of telling her about it so clearly you know she wants to take that up with the counselling so that is potentially some content for the next season if they come back now the showcase happens and of course uh Lyrique turns up P and Brandon isn't too happy about it. It made me laugh when he said, Oh, um, you know, what's he doing here? He wasn't invited here. You know, I didn't want him here. I told Anthony that and I'm thinking, yeah, she did tell Anthony that, but if you remember you had a big argument and Anthony just said he was still invited. So yeah, I wasn't surprised to see him there at all. And you can see that Brandon is, is not too comfortable with the kind of Christina and um, Lyrique connection. Um, and I thought it was interesting that Colby got to stirring in her commentary, talking about, oh, you know, well, they keep speaking every minute. And, you know, I wonder if that's her ex and what's going on there. And, you know, she's just doing the most. But I thought it was funny that Lyrique's there asking Christina to sing and talking about, you know, uh, your husband basically not get in the way and <laughs> she's like well no of course not gonna get in the way but I'm like mm, Brandon I think you are right in terms of that this man is after your woman yeah so you better sleep with both eyes open because definitely it seems like he is on your woman and it's fair to say that uh Kobe definitely noticed that he was on your woman too good to see that Christina kind of helped them to kind of squash their issue ish at the moment so we'll see what happens anyway overall you know the showcase went it was all right um the girl that sang Niger um I thought she was all right actually um I thought it was interesting that you had uh Col Colby and Toya were definitely you know the uh VIP critics at the back there giving their opinion on everything which you know fair enough but anyway that was that really it was that was pretty much the ending of it. I thought, you know, the overall show, it's okay, but I still prefer um, Love and Marriage Huntsville and uh, DC over this one in particular. What do you guys think? I do think if they come back, they should add this couple here, Bravo and his uh, woman, because I feel like Bravo is the only other guy around there like that's got a bit of common sense. So it would be good if they do add them to it. But either way, like I am i don't really mind if it comes back or he doesn't. I'm still more invested in Huntsville and um, DC, which I'd like to see come back soon. So anyway, guys, what do you think of it? Let me know your thoughts below.